in my show in Vegas, I was jumping from uh, like the height of a nine-story building, landing in boxes, and I dislocated my shoulder. It came down to my armpit. It, but in retrospect, I think I was lucky because that could have been really bad. It could have been the neck. It could have been something else. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's a bad one. I think that's when oh. I got injured. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, mine is still messed up. Really? Yeah. Like in what way? Well, I haven't. I can't really work out or do anything the same. How long way. ago? Uh, maybe March. Did you get an MRI? Oh, many MRIs. What is, what's the damage? No, it was really bad. I ripped through the there? ligaments. I t it was bad. It came down to here. Right. Why didn't they yeah. do surgery? I didn't. I'm like afraid of surgery, I have to say. Like horrified of it. Why are you afraid of surgery? I don't know. I You're not think... afraid of King Cobra's view? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, but I'm horrified of surgery. Why? I don't know. And so it's just very weak and it's uh, not well, stable? I can't, can't yeah, lift it just hurts. Overhead. No, I, I can go overhead. So mm -hmm. I'm good like that. It's just hard to like... Push things? Uh, no, I can still do it, but not like I used to. Have you ever gotten stem cells? No. You should get stem cell therapy on it. It could help a lot. I avoided surgery completely with stem cells. Really? Yeah, I had a full-length rotator cuff tear in my right shoulder. It went away. The doctor said it was extraordinary. He went to look at it six months later, and the, the tear was completely gone. He said, this is insane. And this wow. is just, yeah, they can do wild stuff. How did you stuff. rip your rotator cuff? Training, just jujitsu. Like too hard? I don't know. But it was a slow, or it was a one-time you uh, ripped it? It was, you know, jujitsu is, it's very addictive. And a lot of times you get injured and you're like, ah, I still can roll. I'm going to go back in. <laughs> and you go back in with like fucked up discs and a tweaked knee and a fucked up shoulder. And I know a lot of guys that have some pretty significant injuries and they just can't stop training. They just enjoy right. it so much. Right. Um, stem cells could help you a lot. Specifically, if you go out of the country, because they can do some wild shit that they can't do in America because of the FDA. I have some good friends that run a clinic in Tijuana. It's called uh, CPI, and a bunch of my friends have gone down there, a bunch of UFC fighters. It can help you a lot. I'd be so afraid, though. Why? I don't know. Why are you talking about being afraid of that? I don't know. That? Uh, maybe because when I was young and my mother was sick and, you know, that that whole thing. Maybe. Mm. Well, this, this is uh, – what they can do with modern stem cells is pretty extraordinary. Mm. But unfortunately, the United States is very limited in what you can get away with here. Right. Yeah. They, they're constantly putting restrictions on it, unfortunately, for no reason. You know, it doesn't, mm. it doesn't make any sense. The, the, there's no downsides. Yeah, I bet oh. it can help you a lot. And it doesn't hurt. I mean, oh, really? No, there's no downside? No, it's not going to hurt you. No. No, you'll go there. They'll, what they'll do is they'll do uh, IV stem cells. They'll do local stem cells into whatever the area that's injured. And then they'll use hyperbaric chambers, which also accelerates the healing. They'll have you down there for a few days, and uh, I, I guarantee you a few months later you'll feel significantly better.